Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to train with this quite old case which is called Ludo uh, and it's based on a board game in which you have four different players, the yellow, red, blue and green one, uh, who throw dice in order to move across the boards. The board. Um, let's say the instructions, a maximum of four players play this game, international version which has a total of four pieces, I will use one, the players roll a die and move their piece for as many cells as there are pips on the dice. Uh, if a player rolls six pips, then he moves his piece by six cells. Uh, the goal is to go around the playing track in a clockwise direction, 51 cells in total, and then go until the end of the own column, the column four cells uh, inside the track. The total length of the track, therefore, is 55 cells. The player who first reaches the ultimate cell the winner to finish the game the player needs to roll the exact number of pips and if, if a player is two cells away from the finish he needs to roll a two or a one and then roll the one uh, in one of the next moves getting off the own base the players can start moving their pieces only after they roll six on their dice uh, if a player rolls three then a five and, and only then a six this means that it took him three turns just to start moving However, rolling a 6 does not mean that the player moves 6 cells, instead he just places his piece on the track. Okay, uh, and rolls the dice again to determine how many cells to move. Bonus move, when the player's piece is on the track and he throws a 6, he moves 6 cells and can throw the dice again. There are no limits how many times uh, a row in a row one can throw a 6. Capturing level 5, we'll see when, uh, when we're there. So, uh, level 1, 1 player only, how many turns we need to get your piece moving in each of these games, remember you need 6 to start moving, so, uh, okay, mm, it will be basically a match uh, of a 6 here, exit match, okay, I don't have the feedback on those, but let's see, so, uh, sum is 52 uh, and that's correct you play by yourself with one piece only how many cells will your piece travel with you the first 10 turns remember that you need the 6 to start moving if you throw them okay I will use my usual worksheet to help me out in this approach so let's first of all transpose this uh, I will leverage my library so get nice value of this uh, okay, uh, if this equals 6 and then and what is above me, uh, it's not 6, then uh, I need the end condition first. That's the first six in my chain. I would say one otherwise zero. Okay, and then I think I will need to lock something at some point. Okay, and then if this equals six is one otherwise it's zero. Okay, and so plus uh, I want to change this or the previous one is one and this okay and then it will be this times this plus this in this case I'm not going to move and then I will move one uh, they're asking me uh, how many cells will you please travel within the first 10 turns uh, so the answer is 32 uh, plus if this 
equals one is that otherwise is this plus one and so we say an index of points we're matching uh, matching 10 here okay and that's my answer potentially uh, it's taking very long I always struggle to understand why this is taking so long let me close this one uh, let's update again okay uh, and those are games 11 to 30 let's check so some is 502 and some is 502 okay so I previously solved this case of course but it's been very um a long time has passed since the last time so you play by yourself with one piece only how many turns will it take your piece to complete the full game the whole route around the table takes you 50 plus 5 so 55 remember that you can complete the game only with a precise throw of a dice if you are two cells away from the finish and you throw a three your piece will, does not move you keep throwing the dice until you get a two or a one okay uh so the ask is uh, how many turns will it take you to complete okay uh, so example three uh, okay oh come on Okay, so um, basically what we're saying is that if I am potentially at 55 minus 6 cells away, uh, I need to have the exact row or less. Um, okay. So let's say that plus if this is greater than 55, it will be the previous one. Otherwise, it's this. Not sure. So for example, here 51. So 46, I will throw, so 51 is good, then I will throw a uh, 6, which is not right, so this should be, uh, should be like this. Okay, so 51 is not good, 53, 51, 59, we'll ignore it, 57 is not good, 54, and then 55, and so I want to check, I will do the opposite because I will have the index of this. 55 and this and so I'm matching 55 so 29 seems right let's update the data table so 31 to 50 and total is 430 
and actually it's not correct uh, let's see Mm, okay, that's one problem, and that's another one. So, game 46 is not right, apparently. Because uh, that's game 20. Okay, because when we increase the turn uh, I need to check the previous one potentially yeah so yeah 432 is now correct okay uh, you play against an opponent each of you has only one piece in the game how many times will it take the winner to finish the game for the purpose of grading, assume that the turn is comprised of one's player activities. If player one rows four and then two rows five, there are two turns, not one. No capturing allowed this level, even if by chance the pieces stay in the same cell after move, they should resume as if it was a usual turn. Okay, it's not clear whether if I throw a six, I still uh, I'm still eligible to to throw additional pieces. Sorry, dices. Uh, how many turns will take the winner to finish this game? Two turns, not one. Okay, so what if I will steal the best practice that I've seen from someone? I will just do this and then basically leveraging the same structure. I don't need the points. Okay, I uh, just want to have the, the turns. And so this will be player one. Then if this equals one, it's this, otherwise if this equals one is two, otherwise it's one. Three, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, and one again, and one again. Okay. Uh, okay. And then essentially, I want to filter this based on. this equals one okay and i want the same thing but with the turn number sorry uh, i want the turn number <clears throat> okay, and then I want the exact same thing. 
for player two. Okay. Uh, does it take the window to finish the game? Answer is thirty-one. Uh, so fifty-five is here, and uh, fifty-five is here. So seems right. Uh, so we we'll have this. And then I will take the minimum of those two. Um, I think we have problems. I think we have problems. Okay, so I need an if error with a very high number. And now we've got rid of the errors. Let's see, 397. Completely wrong. Uh, hmm. by, by a lot. So 31 is right, apparently. Example four. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I took the wrong. I mean, okay, I'm not sure about this fix. Let's see. Okay, seems much more reasonable. Six. Seven five and seems right. Okay. Uh, very hard. So this time four opponents play against each other. Still each of them has only one piece in the game. Player one plays red player two. Huh? Capturing is allowed this level. If a piece lands at a cell occupied by an opponent's piece. Then the opponent's piece is taken off the board and starts the game from the very from the very beginning. Also needs to roll the six to start. Uh, for the purpose of grading, assume that the turn is comprised of one's player activities. Uh, if player roll, okay. So now I have four, but I can uh, eat and or capture pieces of other players. Um, this is quite complex, I think. Uh, let's maybe duplicate this. Okay, so first of all, let's define who is going to have the turn. Uh, so, one. Um, Two, three, four. Two, three, four, one. Uh, or simply let X be this plus one. If X equals five, then it's one as Y is X. Two, two, 
Okay. Uh, need you stable. Uh, okay, great. Okay, so I need to extend. to extend a lot okay Okay, uh, so now ninety seven, that's nice. Uh, if a piece lands at a cell occupied by an opponent's piece, then the opponent's piece is taken off the board and starts the game from the very beginning. So if a, a place is captured, if um, in between one move and another I will get another piece to come on my uh, own one so for example this is game one then before this it's a cool check if this one uh, before game turn five but after turn one I will have a piece landing on this cell actually oh, sorry this cell because this is the this is the the old turn potentially so we'll get rid of this to avoid confusion okay so what I'm saying is so game one cannot be uh, yeah from game two so if or filter uh, filter those lock the row maybe also the column including game number 
lock less than the current one times game number lock greater than the previous one equals this okay that's quite complicated formula Something went wrong potentially. Okay, and then the last one will be a filter of this last one, lock. This one. lock this one lock 58 that's the case one and the white zero quite complex uh, because if I got captured and that's one start to move okay <clears throat> So if I get capture, I will go back to position zero and will reset my uh, this one. Yeah. 
yeah but I will also need to modify this condition which is quite not well structured and prepared to, to manage this case First of all, let me copy this ugly formula here. So first of all, So any if error zero and if error of zero Now I need to manage it. So first of all, let's say that if Okay, circular reference, of course. Um, something just not working here an A been eaten because it means in the previous turn I'm not sure because now I'm looking at player one oh yes yeah, seems right <coughs> Reference 
Because this depends. It's clearly quite complex. I'm also over the 30 minutes allocation, so um, I'm not sure I'm going to address this very simply. It needs to be uh, thought through a little bit more. So yeah, I think I will stop the video here. Unfortunately, uh, work out some solution offline and then eventually upload uh, my solution with a new video. I hope you enjoyed this one, uh, unfortunately, without getting to level five and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.